Welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers, from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Today, Flowers, Part 22, from the Mother. Question. What did you mean to tell me by giving the flower organization? Mother. Organize your life, your work, your consciousness. Organization consists in putting each thing in its true place. Life must blossom like a flower, offering itself to the divine. I have a whole correspondence in French with S, who is learning French and puts questions to me. So, Mother shows a sheet of paper. Here is the latest one from yesterday, because I had told him the story. You know that I always keep a transformation flower here. Mother points to her buttonhole. I keep it the whole morning, and when I take off my dress in the afternoon for a bath, the flower is naturally in a pitiful condition, so I used to throw it away. But one day, S. had sent me roses in a glass of water, and it was on my dressing table. I took the transformation flower and put it in the water, and when I came back from my bath, it was magnificent, far fresher and stronger than when I had received it. I kept it the whole night, kept it the next day. It was unchanged. It remained just as fresh. Then the next day, I sent him the flower back in his glass. And when he came to see me in the afternoon, I told him the story. I said, did you get the transformation flower? This is what happened. The next day, he wrote me this. Does the transformation not demand a very high degree of aspiration, surrender, and receptivity, I replied. The transformation demands a total and integral consecration, but is that not the aspiration of every sincere sadhak? Total means, yes, it was on the following page, because I thought, this man will wonder why I put total and integral when the two words seem to mean the same thing. So I gave him the explanation. Total means vertically. In all the states of being, from the most material to the most subtle. Integral means horizontally. In all the various and often contradictory parts that make up the outer being. Physical, vital, and mental. I remember the first time I gave X, a tantric, a flower. My fingers touched his, and he almost jumped. Then, when he went out, he said to someone that there was a kind of vibration, or I forget his words, a current, I don't know, which went through his whole body like an electric current. He simply touched my fingers when I gave him the flower. To me, this is all the same thing, only it's their material notation of the fact. That's all. To their intelligence, it becomes much more real and concrete, but it's the same thing. The Lord as electric vibration, Mother laughs. Disciple, this morning you gave me a flower which signifies consciousness turned towards the supermental light. What does this mean? I don't understand. Mother, if you put divine instead of supermental, does that make it clearer to you? 
It means the consciousness that is not filled with the activities and influences of ordinary life, but it is concentrated in an aspiration towards the divine light, force, knowledge, joy. Now, do you understand?